Hey guys, how's everybody doing this morning? Hope all is well. Uh, yeah, sorry guys, I haven't been shooting uh, many videos lately. I just haven't been motivated. Um, haven't been in that right frame of mind. Um, sometimes we all, you know, kind of get like that, or I do anyway. Um, but, uh, well, what I'm going to start doing is, and if you can please, please drop me a comment in the comment sections if you can, because I'm going to break out all of my GEC knives, okay? And this is, pr this is the time where uh, every six months to a year, I break them all out and I do a thorough, thorough cleaning on them. Um, so what I thought I would do um, was, uh, I'd shoot a video one per day on a GEC knife. Um, if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, um, I'd be glad to, uh, to do that. So every morning or every day, expect a video, a GEC video, um, and that's how I'll do it. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, strictly every day has to be a GEC video. If something comes up or whatever, we'll get back at it. But um, I think I've got uh, 40 tubes in there the last time I counted. So that's roughly 40 days of seeing a piece of GEC cutlery from my collection. Um... But like I said, I'm not going to waste my time in doing all that if you don't, if you could just care less. So if that's something you want to see, I'll do it. If not, I'll wipe them down. I'll clean them up with my oil. I'll shoot, I'll shoot a little bit of oil in the pivots and put them back to bed. So you guys are going to have to let me know what you want to see then. This one here, guys, is one of my favorites in the collection, in my collection. My, uh, every time I look at it, it just puts a smile on my face. A smile, like, from ear to ear, okay? This is, it's a long one. This is the grits with butter and molasses, okay? And it is the number 29 Tidiute Stockyard Whittler. It's the 29 Stockyard Whittler. A uh, quick little story on this piece here. Um, I just about had to sell my soul to get this piece here. First off, it's a... PPP, and that makes it just a little bit more special because I, f I forget what it's, it's production, um, production, pr premier production something. There's one other word. Maybe you could help me out in the comments below. I'm sure that you will know it. But that PPP, shadows here, in that circle it, it makes it just a little bit more special because it's the first run. This is the first run. So, um, or is it the first one made? Is it the first one ever made? I'm not sure. You guys let me know. But um, when I break this out, this is what brings me, I, I just smile from ear to ear when I get this in my hand. It's just a special piece to me. And like I said, what I had to do to acquire it, these knives here, guys, do not come very easily. They are the hardest things to acquire. Um, guys, they're really, really hard. Even if you have the money, okay? Even if you have the money to say, all right, fine, I have the money, no big deal, I'm going to buy them all up. You can't even buy them if you have the money. You try and find these on eBay. They, peop 
people are not selling them. They're not even selling them. Um, a friend of mine was over, oh, I don't know, a few, uh, like last month, and he told me, he says, is there any way I could get that? I said, I don't think so. I said, you could look and search and look and search. I told him what it was. He goes, I couldn't find that knife. I couldn't find that knife. And he was willing to pay. You know, he was willing to pay. And if you could find them, let's just, let's say you could find them. You're going to pay double. If not, I'm finding, I'm finding out now you're almost paying triple. You're almost paying triple for the knife. This was $140 new uh, when I when I got this. And this is, oh man, this is a couple years I've had this piece. At least a couple years. I paid $140. I will bet you now, if you found this knife, or if, everybody, if anybody finds it, let me know. I'll bet you this knife is going around $400. I'll bet you this knife is going around $400. The price, the prices on these things are insane on these GEC knives. They really, really are. Um, they are, they are bringing a premium. Um, they are bringing, they are bringing a premium and, um, they're holding their value too. They are holding value. Uh, you really got something special if you could get these GEC knives. I try, I, you know, I just try to explain so much about, I, I'm telling you, it's not, it's so different than regular, uh, uh, modern knives. It's a whole different ball game once you get into these traditional knives. Totally different. Pricing is different. Everything is different when you start uh, getting into these traditional knives. And you will find out if you try, if you decide that you want to get into um, or if you want to pick up a traditional knife and you want to try it out, you'll, you'll quickly find out that it's not that easy just to go out and say, I want a GEC knife and I'm going to go I'm going to go buy one. Does not work that way, guys. It's not it's very far and in between. Anyway, this has got a beautiful clip on it. Look at that clip. It's just everything about these knives, guys, are just fit and finish. I don't have to tell you about that. I don't have to go in. It's just they're just god, they're good. They're good. Um Look at this, um, look at this all. Look at this. Look how they did this all. Look at this. This thing is just, it has a, on this back side here, it's got like an edge. Look at that edge. It's got like a curled, a slightly curled edge. I can barely touch, ah, oh, look at that. You want to talk about punching leather? Man. You got this nice little, I guess it's like a little coping blade or a, a sheep's, like a smaller sheep's foot on it that just, man, that's, it's so great. It's just so wonderful. This three-piece Whittler is just, it's the stockyard uh, Whittler. Um, like I said, uh, the number, if you try and find it, it's, um, number 29 is the number. It's the Stockyard Whittler. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this piece here. Let me know if you just want me to continue on each day showing you a piece of GEC cutlery. Um... And if not, then so be it. Then we'll, uh, then we'll figure something else out or do something else. But I just wanted to give you guys a look at that one. That was first up. And uh, guys, I hope you're doing well out there. Please be safe. 
Put that mask on. Put that mask on, please. That's the only thing that's going to save us right now is just masking up. If you don't have to go out, please don't go out nowhere. Just until this virus settles down a little bit. It's got to calm down. All right, guys. Yo, you know it. To the next one. Let me know if you want to see more GEC cutlery. And, uh, yeah, be safe out there, guys. Take care.